Okay, so the question is, what was it like um, in my first season as the head coach for the men's and women's cross-country team here at Seattle Pacific? Well, um, you know, of course there was a lot of preparation that went into the season, but I felt like I was really um, well supported and, um, you know, I it was kind of a gentle introduction being that I um, have been the assistant coach to Doris Heritage for, I think it's about six uh, seasons. So I knew what to expect, and I knew the athletes and um, just the caliber of, or quality of um, the person that was coming into this program. In addition to there being excellent runners, um, there's so much more than that. And um, I really feel like this season has gone, has gone well. Um, we've been able to... Um, grow together as a team. We've had um, a number of freshmen coming in, um, and they really were well integrated. And um, this group is just so accepting that um, you know, by the end of the season, it, uh, we had a few people saying they were even sad to, to go home for Christmas. So um, that's you know just a nice uh, feeling knowing that they felt like they came out of the season um, excited for more to come. And um, just working alongside with Doris, I really feel like we've been able to collaborate and create workouts and opportunities for the athletes where they're able to most succeed. Um, and, you know, the, the men's team, I think by the end of the season, they had risen to um, a ranking of 10th in the West region, which was pretty exciting. Um, we've had great guys. Um, led by Brian Cronrath and Chad Meese as the captains and, you know, leading not only by um, the example through running, but also through their um, support and um, just nurturing of the younger guys. It's just been awesome to see. Um, on the women's side, a really strong team. Um, you know, it was just exciting each week to see people improving, um, making gains in different ways, not just through time, but also through racing strategy and just developing as, as a whole athlete. Um, and I really feel like their hard work is what drove them to the success at the end of the season, culminating with uh, fourth place in the nation at um, NCAA Cross Country Nationals and Jessica repeating as a national champion. So. Um, you know, I just couldn't be more proud of them, and I really feel, feel like they're poised for greatness. Most of the athletes will be returning next year. We're only graduating a few. Um, we're going to miss those that are graduating um, very much, but um, at least on the women's side, knowing that um, a lot of them are coming back means that next year is going to be um, uh, hopefully even better than this as far as um, a result at the end of the season. They're really shooting for um, taking a stab at uh, the national title. So that's exciting. Um, and, you know, I feel like they really grew spiritually as a team, too. And, you know, we love it when they can run fast and they develop in that way. But knowing they're developing in so many more areas through the sport is what's really exciting. So looking forward to more years coaching cross-country here at SPU.